What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. Beneficial sexual aggression and that hardness, even if it made it harder to finish. I just wanted that. And uh, I just don't get that effect from trend either, anymore either. What about dopamine elevation? Well, I mean, dopamine is something that day to day can fluctuate a lot. So oh. like, I don't. Chemically inducing an elevation. Oh, well, yeah, the more. Yeah, sure. If do dopamine is high, then I'm, I'm sexually a, a lot more excited and perform a lot right. better. So why would, wouldn't you go that route? Like, for example, I saw you were taking caber, which is a bad choice because uh, it, it can cause harming on the heart. But on the other side, Prime Pixel, Mirapixin, I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, there are studies that not only doesn't affect the heart, the, the interesting part about it is whenever we're under stress, right? What happens when you're under stress? Your, your hypothalamus starts signaling production of vasopressin and CRH, corticotropin releasing hormone. Then the pituitary starts producing ACTH, adrenocorticotropic hormone, and then your adrenal glands start producing cortisol, right? And what happens is when in that state, your sympathetic nervous system gets you know aroused. And you, there's a gland in your brain that's called amygdala, and it's an almond size uh, gland, part of the limbatic system. And there, there you have the regulations of fear and anxiety. That's where those emotions are formed, basically. So when you take Prami, you block the effect of that gland and you think with your prefrontal cortex more. And in those situations, you're more likely to, you know, not get anxiety and aggression in a sympathetic state. And that helps a lot with even sexual performance, with mood, with overall functionality. It's, it's really interesting that nobody, you know, utilizes this. Uh, and also it gives you... A, an Is that why it gives you really fucked up dreams, Prammy? Yes. Okay. Do you take, do you take Prammy, Russo? I have right. it. I did. I switched from Caber to Prammy. So yeah, I do. So I have I have a uh, Prammy, and I first took it recently. I don't know that I noticed much from it. I kind of took it for a couple of days, and I want to just take a break, and then kind of take well, it. Like for me, Alec, I don't notice like the extreme sexual benefit from Prammy. Well, no. It's something like Caber presents if you're willing to deal with the damage of Caber. What does? I don't, I don't know. I just did what's on the bottle. I don't remember the specific dose. How much am I supposed to take of Prammy? I'm, I'm talking two milligrams. Two milligrams. Okay. Yeah. I, I was doing like a half. So two. Yeah. And, okay. and how often are we going to take it and how long are we going to take it for? T tell us. Russo and I are going to do this. All right, Russo, we're going to do it together. Yeah, I'll do it we're tonight. We're going to do it together, Russo. Right. <laughs> this this uh, is us locking pinkies. This isn't our wiener, wieners, <laughs> by the way. This is our you know, this is our pinky uh, swear. <laughs> yeah, do it daily. Do it daily for three weeks, and and then assess how you feel. But you'll you'll notice it right away. Okay. Yeah, that dope. yeah, I was only doing a half. I think mine's a milligram a mil. So yeah, you want to move your your way up because with dopamine agonists, same thing with Wellbutrin, for example, and other dopaminergic drugs, they tend to cause problems with vasoconstriction in the in the stomach. And they can cause nausea. Uh, so you don't want to jump to two milligrams from the get-go. You want to taper up. But okay. once you're two days, then it's a whole different story. And also, you're way more energetic. You're more, way more motivated. Like, it's a, it's a different feeling, for sure. Good to know. Right. I did not know yeah. it needed to be dosed that high. I yeah. The other condo, so I can take it tomorrow morning. Literally suppresses that gland that mm -hmm. we're, we're, yeah, you know, because because okay, we're so, so, we, so we're saying that the reason is because um, I shouldn't have to rely so heavily on Viagra, which is a little right. bit risky, especially since I keep going up and up and up in dosage and then stacking it with Cialis. Um, we'll end up also taking Nabivolol and probably a lot of other things that could be yeah, contraindicated. That's it's a recipe.
It, I think it, Alec it, is tricking like you, like you have so much sex, Tony, that it's not like, like you're a sex addict. So you don't get that dopamine hit that like you're using the prammy to get that dopamine hit again, I think is Alex angle on biohacking, right? That's a big problem though. When you have your, when you're high in dopamine, whatever activity you're focusing on, that's going to drive your dopaminergic uh, signaling even further and that's why people get addicted that's why people that get on dopamine a- agonists they tend to gamble have sex or just this and that like it's even on the label because whatever you do you will get more dopamine out of it and it's very easy to you know uh, go whack and if you go super high that's when uh schizophrenia happens you know chronically elevated dopamine levels in the brain which you do not want. And yeah. Yeah. This, this does have this. Yeah. This happens with the sex stuff because uh, I, I, I need to talk to more people about this uh, besides just the people here, because you know, the people here are all different are all sex addicts basically. Mm-hmm. So I'm surrounded by sex addicts right now. So I don't even, I have to remember like what's normal, you know, cause this maybe none of none, no one around me I can talk to in person is normal around here. <laughs> Right. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in Haya. Mm. <laughs> They're right. either sex addict and they came here for that reason, or it turned them into a sex addict. Mm. Right, right, right. So, and also along these lines, there was a question on Adderall. Maybe want to get into that. Well, um, okay. So remember, remember. Then we go talk about Adderall just really quick. Then we we had all these other categories. I mean, we could just wrap it up with about the categories and say, okay, we had the lipid side effect. Of, right, right steroids on the heart. Okay. We said we could take a resuvastatin on that, drop that down. We can cycle steroids so that the lipid panel right. doesn't look so bad chronically and you all year. We have the calcium deposits. Okay. Vitamin D, vitamin K2, K- lower K- synthetic calcium intake.